More pink flowers. Hi gardeners, today I'm planting lily bulbs in the flower garden. I'm planting a few different kinds of hybrid lily bulbs today, mostly pink. You can get them in other colors too, oranges and reds, they're just lovely. There really are lilies for every color scheme. Growing lilies is an easy way to get big showy flowers that come back year after year and don't need a lot of maintenance. I get some lily bulbs in these assorted packs, which is really nice because they're about a dollar a bulb, so that's a really nice deal. Um, but for the specialty ones, they're often sold only in ones, and so they're definitely more expensive. I think this was four or five dollars just for a single bulb. I found buying bulbs in these assorted bulk packs is definitely the most cost effective way to buy them, as opposed to buying them as singles or even buying the bulbs potted up later in the season where they might be five or ten dollars per plant. Let's have a look at these bulbs. Lily bulbs are usually sold in sawdust or maybe in peat, uh, but here's what they look like once you get them out of there. They don't have a true papery bulb covering like a tulip, but you can see that they have a little stem sprouting out of the top and you can see that there's roots coming out of the bottom. So the roots will go at the bottom and the stem will go at the top. So I'm going to go through this sawdust and find all of the lily bulbs. Here's a close up of a lily bulb. You can see at the top, the little white stem is sprouting out of the top. So that will turn into the green leaves that you see sprouting out of the ground. Then there's the main part of the bulb, that kind of round fleshy bit. And here are the roots sticking out of the bottom. And lily bulbs or corms don't have that papery coating. So you have to be really careful with them. I planted some lilies last year in this garden and you can see one of them coming up here. So here's what the sprout looks like once it comes up out of the ground, out of the bulb. So the bulb I planted last year has pushed a sprout through four inches of the soil on top of it and now it's got a couple inches of these green leaves. So the bulbs that I'm planting now will be a little bit behind for this year but they'll catch up in subsequent years. So here are my lily bulbs ready for planting. They all look good. I don't see any mold or anything like that that might make me suspicious. So they all look fine and ready to be planted. One thing I do like to do with these bulbs that I buy in the springtime, they've been stored in sawdust or peat. I like to soak the lily bulbs for about an hour before I plant them. I just find that that gets them hydrated. The roots on the bottom are less kind of crispy and they're easier to move around. The bulbs feel firmer and I know that they at least have some water to get them started, cueing them that they're planted in the ground and getting ready to grow. So you don't have to soak the lily bulbs before you plant them. I just like to, to make sure I know for sure they have enough moisture. So these lily bulbs have had a chance to soak. So they are a little bit firmer. They're definitely hydrated. They're ready to plant. Like I said before, it's not strictly necessary to soak them at all. It just can give them a nice start if they're a bit dry in the packaging and make sure they're hydrated when you plant them. Lilies are going to flower best in a spot where they can get full sun. So basically anywhere where the leaves are going to be exposed to direct sunlight, you know, six to eight hours on a sunny day at least. Those are the spots that they're going to flower the most. However, they will flower a little bit in the shade. They just won't flower quite as much. Other than that, in terms of soil, we're just looking for like a well-drained soil. So something sandy, something loamy, you just want to avoid places where water is pooling. So if you've got a really heavy clay soil and you find that there's ponds of water there after it rains like all day, maybe not the best place to plant lilies. The rule of thumb is you're going to plant your bulbs two or three times as deep as the height of the bulb. Lily bulbs aren't particularly picky about how deep they're planted, so I wouldn't worry too much about planting them too deep. Um, just dig a hole that's three times as deep as the height. So if your lily bulb is, say, two inches high, it's going to go into a six inch hole. The lily bulb will take up the bottom two inches and then there'll be four inches of soil on top of it. If that makes sense. If you're planting more than one lily bulb, about a foot apart is a good distance between your bulbs. You could do them eight inches apart. You could do them 18 inches apart. Another kind of rule of thumb is you want to keep them two times their width apart just so they have room because they do multiply and they will get bigger in the ground and take up that space. Gently place your bulb in the hole. Just make sure that the roots are facing down and you can see the little pointy stem pointing up towards the sky. We're gonna gently backfill it now just with the same soil that we dug out of there. It's best not to leave too many air pockets. So just carefully filling in the soil around the bulb, pushing out any air pockets really gently, but you don't need to backfill with any special soil. You can just use the garden soil that came out of the hole. 
Go ahead and click the like button if you found this video helpful. Once the lily bulb is planted, we're gonna water it. So that will help take out any more air pockets, help the soil settle, and just make sure that the soil around the bulb is moist. Now that these lily bulbs are planted, I'm gonna mulch the area with a little bit of compost. I'll probably come back to this spot in a few weeks after these bulbs have sprouted, give them a little bit of organic bulb fertilizer just to give them a nutritional boost before they flower. And that's it. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.